Hi guys, my name is Nihar Kumar. Uh, I work as a deputy regional head in an institute called Time Education Private Limited, and I take care of areas like quantitative aptitude and logical reasoning. So, with the re recent changes in the pattern of CLAT two thousand twenty, let us understand what is the meaning of comprehension based quantitative technique questions in the mathematics area. So the section which was earlier named, named as elementary mathematics or numerical ability has been now replaced with a section which will be on quantitative techniques. So I have come up with a couple of questions to just to demonstrate you what are the types of questions that can be expected in this new pattern and how to go about solving those questions in an easy manner. So so that you don't have to exactly worry about anything about the change in the section. So let's look at a couple of examples. So. Here we have a question which is based on a pie chart. Now this pie chart gives you the details of the sales of five products of a particular company in the year 2018. So it is represented in terms of degrees. So what we understand from basic elementary geometry is this, that this entire angle in the middle should be 360 degrees, out of which the share of A, B, C, D, E are given here. So let's understand this question. Sales of A is what percentage more than that of B? Now, if you see closely, we have been given total sales here, which is 18,450 crores. But for this particular question, if I go about the reasoning part of it, logic says that you don't have to actually calculate the sales of A and the sales of D from this data. What we can do is we can directly solve these questions using the data here. So we can see A is 90 degree and we can see D is 72 degrees. So for solving this particular question, this data is not required at all. So we don't have to bother about big calculations. The shortcut or the idea about solving this question is or the logic behind solving this question is you just take these two data 90 degree and 72 degree. Now let's see 90 degree is how much more than 72 degrees. So can I say, looking at these two numbers, 90 is how much more than 72? So you subtract, you'll get 18. But the question says, we have to find out sales of A is what percentage more than that of D. So in terms of numerical value, 90 is 18 more than 72. Now to calculate percentages, I have to divide 18 by 72 because we are comparing it with that of D. So 18 divided by 72, that is a fraction. How do you convert fraction into percentage? Very basic elementary mathematics. You just multiply this by 100. And what do you get? 18, 4, just 72. So you get 1 by 4 into 25. And then 4, so you can cancel out 100. You get 25 percentage. So answer is 25 percentage. So without getting into the lengthy calculations using this data, we have easily answered the question using only these two data. So this is basically reasoning. It's my logic. Sorry. The logic is involved here. So this question can be solved using logic rather than getting into lengthy calculation using this data. I hope this is clear. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, let's look at the second question based on the same chart. So we again have the sales of A, B, C, D represented in terms of the angles. Total sales is again given and the year is 2018. The question says, what is the difference in the sales of B and E? Now here again, you might think that we have to calculate the sales of B separately from this data and this data and we have to calculate the sales of E separately from this data and this data and then you will find the difference. Now if you go solving it that way, it will take a little longer time. What we understand from here is, if I apply a bit of logic here, I will simply say between E and B, what is the difference in terms of degrees? So if you look at the angles, it is 108 degrees and 60 degrees. So if you look at the difference, difference is 48 degrees. So first I'll find the difference in terms of degrees and now let's find difference in terms of sales. So we'll say difference between the sales is 48 degrees out of what will be the total angle in the center here? It will be 360 degree elementary geometry. So you divide this by 360 degree. So that will give you the fraction of the total sales that the difference will have. So we'll multiply this with this number, which is 18450. So 18450. And after a bit of calculation, this is an easy calculation. You can cancel out the numbers here and we'll get the answer as 2460 crores. So that is answer. So just by applying a little bit of logic, we have saved a lot of time here. 
सो वी हैव सेव सेव्ड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम ऑन कैलकुलेशन ऑल एट सो विल सी अ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अगेन नाउ दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन विच डज नॉट हैव अ चार्ट बट एज यू हैव सीन द प्रेस रिलीज सेज इट विल बी कॉम्प्रीहेंशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन ऑन क्वांटिटेटिव टेक्निक्स एंड द प्रोफेसर हैज सेड क्लियरली दैट विल बी टेस्टिंग योर कॉम्पिटेंस इन रीडिंग टेक्स सो इन दिस सेक्शन ऑल्सो देयर कैन बी a long question which will test your ability to read text quickly and understand what is being presented and then based on your understanding you solve the question now if you read this question take a 2 second pause and read this question so a b c d are four friends who bought a bike for rupees 60000 so all of four of them have contributed total money of 60000 but they have not contributed equal amount of money so they have not contributed 15000 15000 15000 15000 Now the first sentence says, second sentence says the contribute A contributed half of the total money contributed by the other three. So let's understand this a little bit with little, little bit of mathematics. So what A has paid and what other three have paid. If I look at the ratio between these two quantities, it is set as half. Half means it is one by two. In terms of ratio, it should mean one is to two. And what is the total money paid by all of them together? That is given in the question. It is sixty thousand. So can I say A must have paid one out of total one plus two three parts into the amount which is sixty thousand. So when you multiply this with sixty thousand, I'll get twenty thousand after cancelling out, and this is the amount which A has paid, right? Okay. Similarly, see what B has paid. B has contributed one third of the total money contributed by the other three. So if I look at B and the other three. Then the ratio must be one is to three because one third, so one is to three. So B must have paid one out of one plus three four parts of sixty thousand, which means it is fifteen thousand. So going by, if you look at the pattern, A has paid one third of the total, B has paid one fourth of the total. Similarly, if you look at the data about C, it says C contributed one fourth. so there the ratio will be 1 is to 4 so c would contribute 1 by 5 so 1 plus 4 is 5 one fifth of 60000 so how much is that 12000 so we know the contribution of a we know the contribution of b we know the contribution of c so when i subtract these three contributions from total 60000 i'll get to know what is the contribution by d so 60000 minus Twenty thousand, twelve thousand, and fifteen thousand. That will give you thirteen thousand. So D has contributed rupees thirteen thousand. So this is the shortcut, or you can say this is the reasoning involved. So this question, if you ask me honestly, this is a question based on linear equation. But I have not used linear equation. I have used ratios to demonstrate that how your application of knowledge in some other area can be applied in some other area by logic, and you can solve the questions very easily. So thank you so much guys that was my contribution in showing you how to solve questions which can be expected in the new pattern if you like the video please like share and subscribe jagran jush